Here we are then, the biggest game at the Etihad Stadium there can possibly be in the current format of football, i.e. second leg, semi-final, Champions League. Obviously the final could be bigger, um, you could argue other games are bigger in cup competitions, but in terms of home games here, this is the biggest one. And because this is Champions League, as opposed to the Premier League, you were watching a video the other day, it's sort of back to normal in terms of my uh, vlogging today. So here I am outside the stadium, early doors as usual. I'll see who I meet, former players, uh, fans, and then later on when I'm inside the stadium, I'll show what it's like in there as well, because I can tonight. So uh, thanks for watching, appreciate your support. Let's see who's here at the game today. Champions League semi-final, beautiful evening. We're the better team, there's no two ways about it. I was a bit disappointed we didn't beat them there. My prediction was to beat them there and beat them here. Okay, we drew with them there, but we will beat them here. I'm, I'm, I'm more than confident. If the team was not, not as good as Madrid, then I'd have doubts, but we're better. We're better, we score more goals than them. And the name of the game is to score goals. So hopefully we'll show that this evening. There's not, there's not a negative thought in, in my head for tonight. It's only positive thoughts. And uh, we're on our way to Istanbul. Whoa! Which is, the, which is the more important then, winning this, this particular competition, the FA Cup against United, the league? Well, first, win this game. Second, to win the Premiership on Sunday. And thirdly, to win the Champions League final. And then last but not least, beat United. What do you reckon, young man? What score tonight, Jude? 3 1 to City! Yeah, that's the positive all the way through the Owen family. There's not a negative bone in our body. Let's hope we're right. Enjoy the night, Blue Boys. Take care. It's massive. Third year on the trot in the semi finals of the Champions League, you know, so the consistency is incredible. But this is a big one. Just had a look at the stats and uh, unbeaten in 25 Champions League games at home, which is remarkable. Um, but it's Real Madrid, you know, and they won it 14 times. So I guess that equates really to level things out, I suppose. But um, no, I'm really looking forward to this one. And is it in your gut that City are going to win? Yeah, yeah. Which way in the form that we're in. And like I say, that stat, you know, you always see you're apprehensive. We're all, you know, a little bit on edge. But the fact of the matter is 25 games in the Champions League. And I believe we've won three out of the last four against Real Madrid, you know, so... So what the stats matter anyway, but it's going to be a great night and, and hopefully we get a result. If we don't hold the ball, that Benzema and Vinicius Jr. will just attack and attack and attack, but we've got Haaland anyway. And De Bruyne will probably turn up. I'm, I'm nervous, but I just see it like last season, 4-3. He's so confident. Is that, is that one of the differences? With, I know you, you're singling out Haaland and quite yeah. understandably, but City's defence seems stronger this yeah, season as well. Yeah, it does. Well. It's just that winger though, Vinicius Jr. is just so fast. So much skill as well. Walker did a job last week, I thought, but I don't know to be honest. I, just, I think we'll win, but not smash them because they're not mugs, are they, Real Madrid? So I'm confident. Wins all. I'm confident because he's confident because when we were losing last year 2 0 to Villa and I was literally in tears and he's going, Dad, Dad, we had 16 minutes, whatever, he's going, Dad, Dad, we've still got this. And six minutes later, we were winning 3 2. So I'll go with my son every day of the week, mate. You're obviously the Oracle then. What? You're obviously the Oracle. Yeah. He does, he does, he does, he, he, honestly, I don't know, he does it. He always stays calm. I'm there bricking it. He stays calm. He's pulled me through loads of games. So it's only the Champions I've got to go with him. It's just the Champions League, I'm nervous. Yeah. We always just, just we won can't it. win it. We won it, we won it. Yeah. This is the year. Premier League's right? easy, but Champions League, nah. You never get carried away, do you? Not like me. I just, I just come here thinking doom and gloom. I'm 54 this year, so I've been through it all. But yeah, I, I, I'll go with Luke on this one. So I'm feeling confident-ish. That's why I'm having a coffee. <laughs> I'll have a beard in there in a bit. I was actually down here at the former players' do on Monday when I was allowed to film inside the stadium. And I was able to speak to two former players, Richard Jobson, and Ian Mellor, who played at the end of the 60s, and can lay claim to be one of those players involved in a European camp, successful European campaign, by the way, for Manchester City. So, here's what they had to say. It's like a one-off game with the first leg being one-all. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fantastic game. You know, you know, you know hopefully City will be the favourites, but who knows? Yeah, you know, it'd be great if he can see, can get through to the uh, to the final and go on it and win it. But it's going to be an extremely tough game. 
Um, I, I think so, yeah. I mean, they're, they're playing exceptionally well. Um, everyone can see that. You know, they're, they're certainly putting the foot on the gas um, in the second half of the season. You know, it looks like the, uh, you know, the Premiership's going to be tied up um, fairly soon. Um, you know, so it'd be, it'd be fantastic if they could, you know, win the Champions League and, and potentially go on to get the uh, treble. You think you could have played in this team? Stylish defenders. Uh, I'm not too sure about all this playing out from the back, but uh, obviously in our day the, the pitches weren't as good. But uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's fantastic watching them. You know, and uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy you know catching catching up, watching them play, you know, live and obviously on TV. You know, it's absolutely superb football to watch. I'm never confident because I'm a very nervy Manchester supporter, having watched so many games that we should have won. But I think so. Um, we're saying we're good enough. We should win, but we do need a bit of luck, which we never got last year against Real Madrid. To win things, no matter how good you are, you still need a bit of luck. So we'll need a little bit of luck on Wednesday uh, to win. So you ask me if we're going to win. I hope so. But I'm a man six supporter all these years, and I'm nervous. You know what I mean by that. And if City do win this trophy, you were around in the era when City won another European trophy, and people forget that, the Cup Winners' Cup back in 1970. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the debut was 71, I think, against Corny, when we were 2-0 down from the first leg and we came to Main Road. We absolutely filthy night, chucking it down and everything. And uh, Willie Donnick across the ball, I'm a left winger, I mean, there's some sharp in the ball. I don't know what I was doing there. I really don't know. So that was 1 0. Second half came. To find, you know, the ball was getting stuck in the wood, in the water. I pushed the ball past the, uh, the, the ball back. It never went out. It got stuck. So I was able to get to it, cross it. And I might go and I need a boy to uh, get the, uh, the, the winner 2 0. Which meant 2 all. And we uh, played it, played it in uh, a neutral ground somewhere where we won to go on to win the uh, league. The, uh, the, the, well, the, uh, the winners' cup. Winners cup. Yeah. So you're a forerunner and now you'll see it again. Yeah, somebody said to me that I was the first player to score a goal in a certain European game. Well, people scored goals for me the city before me in the European game. Well, I think it might be when they change the company to something else. And that's why I might have got that title to be a person to play the score in the FIFA Cup or whatever it was called. You can see how exciting it is now as we count down towards kickoff. That was back on Monday. This is the team arriving now on match day. And I've just seen a ticket exchanging hands for £1,250 for this game. That's how big a game it is. It's getting excited. This is what it's all about, isn't it? You know, get to the business end of the season, all the fans are out, and today, I reckon, if we play our best, I reckon we've got it in the bag. But we require us to play our best. Unfortunately, Real know how to never die. They always know how to win in these games. But City are who they are, and City are going to do it. On the blues. We've just been watching what it's like outside and it's chaotic. You can definitely tell it's a big Champions League night and you can see from all the journalists and the celebrities like Jan Mulvey who are on the touchline here, as I'll be doing for Sony TV very soon, who are drinking it all in ahead of kickoff. A bit different main road, a bit different back at main road, wasn't it? Do you know I was asked before why I wasn't nervous and and the reason I'm not nervous is because I remember what I felt like when we drew 2 all with QPR all those years ago. Uh, and then that feeling that even if they won at Stoke the following week, we're going to go into the third tier. That was nerves. That was horrible. Knowing that you had a whole 12 months of third tier football. This is fantastic. This is what it's about. This is excitement and 
drama and you know the best team in Europe against the most successful club side you know that's what it that, that was nothing more than a pipe dream all those years ago so this is fantastic this is what we live for this is what we enjoy and professionally we get the chance to savor it and say to ourselves what an honor it is to be describing this having watched defeats against Stockport County as they part with all due respect and Berry winning 1-0 and stuff like that. Let's not you just, forget York City away. Well, yeah, I wasn't at that game. I know, I know, I about, I know about 25,000 people claim to have been at that I game. Was, you were. Me. So you get that feeling that when you've literally suffered, you know, Pep talks about suffering and he's right in certain periods of a game. But that was a whole year of condemnation. And I always remember the elation I felt when that penalty, winning penalty went in in the 99 final because it felt like it was a one-year hit and that was it that was the base we weren't going to get lower than that and now here they are on the verge potentially of a second treble never forget the first one was only 2019 but let's get past Real Madrid and then let's celebrate afterwards because I've got a feeling I've felt it all along that the best team in Europe doesn't necessarily win the Champions League this is the best team in Europe and I'm hoping that they'll tear up the record books and actually go on and win it always remember Pep's team with Barcelona was the best team any of us have ever seen and they only won it twice so it proves the best team don't necessarily win what this is which is a cup competition this team is the best team in Europe I hope they have the trophy that goes with it well said and everything that you've seen in your career Roy how does this measure up oh god flipping out uh, whenever I think back, I think of the shade uh, Halifax when we got beaten the cup to this. It's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Since he's going to win tonight? Yeah, I fancy him. I just seen Andy Morris. He said we're going to go to penalties, and I went, no, I don't say that. But I think we will, yeah. I think they're a great team, City. Fantastic team. Nervous. Why? City are the best. Cityitis. Incurable. <laughs> Fooled. Full medics all over the world for years, 40 years in my case. Such a big game this, isn't it? Yeah, biggest. Enjoy it. Still, still better, still prefer beat United. We need to carry on and we need a third goal. We need three against these, even these won't come back from three. So you're still a little bit worried, are you? Still a bit nervous, yeah. Even after that first half before? Yeah, still a bit nervous. This is Real Madrid we're talking about here. <laughs> We've been to up before, haven't we? I'm not looking forward to setting down, but come on, City! We you can do it! No, no, I'm high. too nervous. I'm, too ne I'm an old City fan, I'm too nervous. Come on, City! Absolutely incredible, Ian. 
An hotel, yeah. <laughs> Come on, sissy. Come on, sissy. Come on. Come on. Well, what do you make of it? Fantastic. Loved it. Can't believe it. Great. Right. That's as good as it gets, isn't it? Yeah. As good as I've seen them play. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. We lost it all the way from the first minute. It was epic. Best I've seen us play. It's hard to pick out a man of the match in a game like that, isn't it? tonight this is the best thing to see the team tonight we are so elite we blew these away tonight and Real Madrid top of the tree man alive what a what a team we are I think Ian this is a pinnacle of what we're going to experience as Blues this is amazing we're all you, going you to Istanbul the last day main road, oh, you? Ian me and you were there last game main road I filmed you uh, British Blues have all tried to get hold of me I've given a copy of it Mate, to come from what we were to this tonight is just amazing. And I tell you, what, what a game, what a night. All the boys right across the world are watching us tonight. And we were here, we had tickets to the, the greatest show on earth. And I tell you what, these boys give us a greatest show on earth. This is amazing. Ian, put it there, pal. I love it. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen the supposed best team ever in the history of football get embarrassed like that so badly. 4-0 in the semi-final of the Champions League. I have never seen that ever in this stadium. It's absolutely incredible. We're in the final again. Is it treble on, do you think? Oh. Poss. We're when three you games... When a team performance like that, you can't doubt it, can you? Uh, well, we're three games away. You could say that. We're three games away. It's, it's hard. It's hard. I think we should have the league sorted. That should be fine. FA Cup worries me because it's United, it's a derby, anything could happen. Champions League, oof. we should beat Inter Milan, but again, you never know with that either. But I think it could definitely be on. I think it is on. Today means the world to me. Uh, to get here and see it is amazing. Um, last year, we went to Madrid for the second leg and it wasn't so good. This year, it has worked out for us. But uh, I have uh, cancer, uh, grade 3 cancer, and a brain tumour. So that's why I'm in this wheelchair. Uh, I'm going a long, long time. A lot of people know me. Uh, 20 years I'm going. But uh, it means so much getting to these games, getting harder and harder. Um, it's, you know, people pushing you to the games and turnstiles and, you know, before games and after games. and. It's so much goes into it for people in wheelchairs to attend these games. Uh, it's, it's not like a normal person, but uh, I'm just so happy tonight to be able to uh, be here and see this. And I'm going to be going to this at home and Good for I'm going to enjoy it. Good for and you. hopefully this is the year of the treble. I certainly do the treble for you. And Ian Cheese was a legend. All the best to you. And thanks very much. Well, if that doesn't illustrate to anybody what this game, what this club means to people, nothing will. Uh, proud to be here tonight to see one of the best performances of a Manchester City team I've ever seen. And I've attended 2,300, something like that, games now down the years. I'm very, very proud to be a Blue, particularly on a night like this. I'm glad I was able to show you a little bit inside the stadium as well tonight because it was a, a Champions League night. Thanks to everybody who's supporting me and has supported my channel. I, of course, will endeavour to be in Istanbul for the final. Before that, um, although I won't be able to film anything inside the game because it's a Premier League match, I'll be at the Chelsea match at the weekend to get you before and after. So, have a great week. Isn't it just great to be a blue? 